Number nut is back again. We are going to the subtraction chamber. Here you will find out how to do subtraction with regrouping. Are you ready to begin? In a school, class 2A had 34 students in total. On a rainy day, 8 students were absent. How many were present? Write the numbers under the correct place values. We have 34 students. 34 has 3 tens and 4 ones. 8 students are absent. To subtract 8, we need to remove 8 ones. But we have only 4. Where do we get 8 ones from? Simple. We break up one of the tens into 10 ones. We now have 14 ones and 2 tens. Let's subtract 8 from 14 ones. There are 6 ones left. So we write 6 in the ones place. There are 2 tens left. So we write 2 in the tens place. 34 minus 8 is equal to 26. Shall we now learn how to subtract two digit numbers with regrouping? Little Bob Peep took 35 sheep out to graze in a field. When they returned home, she found that she had only 18 sheep. How many sheep were lost? We need to write the numbers under the correct place values. There were 35 sheep. 18 sheep returned home. 35 has 3 tens and 5 ones. We first subtract in the ones place. From 5 ones, we need to take away 8 ones. But we have only 5. To get 8 ones, we must borrow 1 of the tens and 10 ones. We now have 15 ones and 2 tens. First, we subtract 8 ones from 15 ones. There are 7 ones left. So let's write 7 in the ones place. We then subtract 1 ten from 2 tens. There is 1 ten left. So we write 1 in the tens place. 35 minus 18 is equal to 17. Can we subtract by regrouping when we have bigger numbers? Let us find out. Number Nut was reading a book with 146 pages. He had read only 79 pages. How many pages are left to read? Write the numbers under the correct place values. The book has 146 pages. He read 79 pages. 146 has 104 tens and 6 ones. We first subtract in the ones place. From 6 ones, we need to take away 9 ones. But we have only 6. Let's borrow 1 from the tens as 10 ones. We now have 16 ones and 3 tens. We now subtract 9 ones from 16 ones. There are 7 ones left. So we write 7 in the ones place. Next, we subtract in the tens place. From 3 tens, we need to take away 7 tens. But we have only 3 tens. Let's borrow from the hundreds to get 10 tens. We now have 13 tens and no hundreds. Subtract 7 tens from 13 tens. There are 6 tens left. Write 6 in the tens place. 146 minus 79 is equal to 67. Here is one more quick subtraction for you to do. 
In a cricket match, 124 runs had been scored to win. The team needed to make 311 runs. How many more runs were needed to win the match? First, let's subtract the ones. As 1 is less than 4, we borrow a 10 from the 10's place. 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. So we write 7 in the 1's place. As 1 10 has been borrowed, let's strike the 1 in the 10's place and write 0 above it. Next, we subtract the 10's. From 0 10's, we need to take away 2 10's. But we have no 10's. Let's borrow 100 as 10 10's. 10 10's minus 2 10's is equal to 8 10's. So we write 8 in the 10's place. As 100 has been borrowed, we strike the 3 in the 100's place and write 2 above it. Lastly, we subtract hundreds. Two hundreds minus one hundred is equal to one hundred. We now write one in the hundreds place. Three hundred eleven minus one hundred twenty four is equal to one hundred eighty seven. That was hard work, and you deserve a celebration.